Monday afternoon and Savannah and I are just in the living room lounging enjoying the evening and ignore my walls yes you guys I have not finished doing anything with my walls I will I am in the process of priming I know I probably said that like two vlogs ago and I still haven't did anything I don't know I don't have the desire right now but it's gonna happen anyway just trying to find stuff to watch on YouTube and yeah mm, nothing much that's going okay, on so I forgot to vlog this before I started it it was not really a mess but it's just time to deep clean everything so I cleaned my blinds dusted them off and everything and now I'm just moving stuff out of the way going along the walls the trash can sits over there in the corner wiping down the walls and I moved that from the wall and I'm gonna dust it off and clean it up really good I'm out of breath because I was in and out throwing garbage out and going in the backyard and yeah so let me finish okay so everything is back to normal nice and clean oh and Boston's food dish I put it away in the broom closet so until or if we ever decide to get another dog I will bring it out but okay yes I look like this I worked from home today it's Thursday I don't know if I said that probably not anyway I am just cleaning the house as you guys can see a little bit um, and I'm about to clean the fireplace out from the last time when we had a fire it's weird cuz last week a week and a half ago it was like so chilly at night and whatever so we had one log one of those starter logs left and we put that in there so I just never cleaned it out yet so I'm gonna clean it out now and close up the fireplace because it's like 95 degrees outside really hot and I don't think we'll be needing it um, for a while so yeah today I was supposed to see Melissa she was in town for AJ's college graduation congrats AJ and yeah but my stupid job so she had planned on coming over but my job not my stupid job but my job we had a mandatory in-person meeting today because it was gonna be tomorrow which I go into the office tomorrow but my manager is not gonna be in so we had it today so yeah I wasn't able to see my friend but next time and we're gonna make plans to hang out and do something in Southern California I'm upset because I didn't get to see them but anyway I don't know if I told you guys but Savannah has graduated also when I say it like that because she didn't want to walk or anything like that she has her associate's degree is that what it's called your AA she chose a college close to home she got accepted at San Jose and I think two of the other universities in two universities in Southern California and yeah so of course I would have supported her if she went but she decided to stay I'm happy so she graduated but she didn't walk the stage or anything like that because she says she's just going to wait until she graduates from the university which I'm sad because I didn't get to see her in her first college graduation but we'll do it big when she does actually graduate so the kids have gone to and I always say my kids you know they're adults but they're my kids so when I say my kids I'm just rambling anyway they went to the James Wilson concert and James Wilson is a singer and I don't want to get copyrighted so I won't play any of his songs but he's a gospel singer and if you guys want to look him up or whatever see the type of songs he sings you guys can do that but they're on their way to Modesto he's going to be at um I forgot the name of the church but he's of our faith the same um religion we are and he's well known and his music is awesome but I didn't go because it's like some of the young people and not that I couldn't have gone or whatever, but next time I'm going though. Next time I'm going. But yeah, and hopefully if they get any footage or video or something like that, she was actually going to take my old vlogging camera and she's like, no, I don't want to do that. I don't know how to work it. It's not hard, but hopefully she'll get some footage with her phone. If she does or if Cheyenne does, I'll put it in. But if not, then sorry. <laughs>
cleaning kick so it's like every day I'm taking one room at a time to tackle that way it won't be overwhelming so the other day I did my nook and I just got to throw out the garbage today but deep cleaned all that baseboards up top there because you know things get dusty and so today I'm gonna tackle the kitchen I'm going to clean on top of the refrigerator move the refrigerator and the stove out clean behind there clean baseboards and wipe it down my cabinets you know sometimes it get a little dusty around the floor area i usually don't show you guys when it's this messy but you guys know how i have my raid done like all over my kitchen so it's also time to take those wash them and i'm actually going to try to reposition everything so i will show you guys this is how it looks like before and then I'll show you after. And of course, I'm going to clean my stove too. So, yeah, everything is in here today. Let me pause this so I won't get copyrighted. Of course, listening to my gospel. Anyway, I probably should have turned this into a cleaning video, but I just wanted to jump right into it. And I didn't feel like getting fully dressed, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so I know it looks like a mess right now, but I did clean on top of the refrigerator. Oh my goodness, that was. Yeah, and I moved everything back, the stove and the refrigerator, and I cleaned behind there. I started with that. And like my cabinets right here, it gets a little dusty. So I just took and wiped all of those down and cleaned the handles. And I wiped all my cabinets down, actually. So now I am just trying to reposition things. I took that tray that was back there and I wiped it down cleaned off all my Ray Dunn stuff well not all of it just the ones that are there but anyway like I said it's I know it looks a mess like I'm not doing anything but trust me I'm working okay so I am done all I have to do is wash a few dishes by hand before the adult children that live here come in and start cooking and making a mess again never changes <laughs> anyway so let me show you guys and I'm quite happy with what I've done it feels like I have more counter space the way I arrange things. So yeah, if you remember what it looked like before, it was a mess and things were just placed differently. four hours to completely do everything the whole entire kitchen is completely deep cleaned cabinets I washed those down and I cleaned out the microwave which wasn't that bad because I clean my microwave often and the top of the refrigerator pulled everything back from the wall cleaned everything I rearranged all of the dishes and the pots and all that's taken care of swept mopped and now I'm just relaxing. A very productive day. I'm sure I'll be taking a nap soon here because I'm getting tired because I got up early and I didn't have to. But I wanted to 
get that out of the way that way I won't have to worry about it later so yeah I was thinking of starting dinner like letting everything um, marinate making chicken tonight so yeah maybe I'll destroy the kitchen after I cleaned it I don't know anyway I'm just resting nothing much is really happening today so yeah if something does I'll come back so we're in Moo Moo Tea I think that's what it's called yes Moo Moo Tea House and we're getting boba just Savannah and I and there's a noodle house or a noodle a ramen <laughs> a noodle house there's a ramen bar next to here so she got an iced tea and I got coffee what did you get <laughs> okay she got tea y'all I am sweating I have to sit down for a minute because I got this on my head um yeah y'all know I change hairs often so this is what I'm rocking today anyway I've already showered and I'm completely ready I'm just sitting here and let me mute this it's just me right now the girls actually went to they're still going to our church but they actually went to visit um, one of the churches in Stockton that we go from time to time we have like that huge landmark conference there the ladies date whatever so they just wanted to visit their service this morning and then our service starts at 11 so they'll make it to church in time um, after that service and then Tariq is actually with friends and I know some of you have messaged me and asked me how he was or whatever Tariq is great dealing with some issues because of the ex but other than that I have my son back and he is happy that he's out of that situation and I know I didn't tell you guys what happened between them and I still won't because that's not my place to tell if he ever comes on here or he's thinking about starting his channel up again if he decides to tell it then that's on him but I was actually going to tell you guys my experience of that whole thing but you know she's not even worth it we're going to start calling her baby Karen because you know how Karen's create an issue and then cry about it and play the victim yeah that's what it is and my son knows how I feel about this so you know I'm not saying anything that I haven't said to him I was gonna tell you guys about an incident that happened at my house and I still might but the way I'm feeling at this moment they're not even worth talking about unfortunately Tyreek is going to have to deal with that family until his daughter is 18 but you know Sometimes you live and learn. They always want to dish out whatever they want and do whatever they want to people and say whatever they want. But the second it's returned, they want to cry and play victim and act like the world is against them. They have no accountability. And yeah, so it's baby Karen and the Karen family. That's, that's, that's exactly what it is. What was I saying before I went off on that little rant? So yes, you guys, Tariq is doing fine I know you guys don't see him a lot often but you guys don't really see anyone other than Savannah here and there uh, I'm happy to have my son home yeah I'm happy he got out of a horrible situation like I said and um, I won't go into depth with that but yeah anyway uh I have three stops to make before church well actually technically only two I have to get gas and I have to go to the bank to get my tides out and I want to go get coffee I don't have to go get coffee I can actually make coffee here and drink it and whatever but no I'm going to go get coffee so let me get my shoes on because I'm dressed um well duh <laughs> and then start doing what I need to do and head on to church yeah that's what I'm gonna do Really quick I'm on my way to church and I got my coffee 
just McDonald's coffee and gassed up the car and I, I got my tithes out for church. Yes, I paid my tithes and I'm on my way to church now. This is my church music and the girls should be leaving <clears throat> the Stockton church to meet me at church. Not meet me, but just to go to our church. So, yeah. Said I was going to vlog more today, so here you go. Alright. Back to Jesus. Finally, how long have we been waiting for this, y'all? For the ones of us that watch it? Three years, I think, yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, one. It is Monday. It is Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day to everyone out there. I didn't do much yesterday, that's why I didn't vlog a whole lot. I know I said I would, but honestly, you guys, we did not do anything. And I'm leaving Winco right now, if you guys were wondering. Anyway, we didn't do anything. After church, I went home and we ordered takeout Chinese food. And I took a super long nap. Very boring. And then last night, we actually visited a church in Stockton called Centro Vito. No, Centro Vita. Um, and yes, it is a Spanish church, but it's Spanish and English, so we did understand the preaching because they did translation. So, I don't know, we just wanted to visit another church. So that's what we did, and I came home, and we watched the first two episodes of Stranger Things. It is hot, you guys. Unless I'm just hot so that I have this on my head. <laughs> we watched the first two episodes of Stranger Things and then went to bed. So here we are today and it's 15 after 9. To come to the store early before everyone woke up and got out and decided to get the last minute things for today. There's a lot of barbecues and picnics going on and matter of fact I'm barbecuing at the house my church is actually I know I'm rambling y'all my church is actually having a Memorial Day picnic and I guess they have one every year remember we haven't been to this church a year yet so new things that I'm finding out I'm finding out you know last minute hold on okay wanted to make sure I made that you turn safely anyway I really didn't feel like going, and it's not that I didn't want to hang out with them or whatever, but I don't know. I want to take today and relax, be in my own home, under the air conditioner, not be in a hot park. So, I'm not going today. Maybe next year, I don't know. So now, I am on my way to Hobby Lobby. I think Hobby Lobby should be open. I think they said it opened at 9 today. I'm sure they have to have a memorial day sale or if not, I still need to buy a few things. I want to get some light fixtures, not fixtures, well, the light switch covers for my living room. Because I know they have some really cute ones there. Where am I going? Oh, okay. So, yeah. Oh, when I was in Winco, you guys, so I was at the checkout and when kids are not with me I usually try to bag my groceries before the lady's done bringing it up if I'm getting a lot that way I won't have a lot to do when it's done when the kids are with me it's easier because I could just stand there and you know they know the routine they'll bag everything up and stuff like that so anyway as I'm bagging stuff up I step back and I slipped on something and if it wasn't for the wall like the register behind me I would have went down I would have literally went down and so I told the lady I said you know what there's something slippery here someone's going to fall if it doesn't get cleaned up so she immediately stopped what she was doing because you know that's a lawsuit waiting to happen and then the guy behind me said no why didn't you just go down I'm like I'm not just gonna go he's like no do it again I'm like dude I'm not gonna do it again and pretend to fall you know and yeah that's crazy and he was like no I guess his mom he said maybe like five years ago fell right there in Winco somewhere in the back and she got like $40,000 as a settlement 
and I'm like, okay, $40,000 would be nice, but I'm not trying to go through all the pain and all the this and that and doctor's appointments and proving that I hurt myself and all that. And I'm like, dude, you're crazy. We're, we're, this is what we're not about to do. Now, I've had I went down and hurt myself, that's a whole different story because yes, I guarantee I'm getting some money. But I hope you guys are enjoying your Memorial Day. Um, or have by the time you guys see this had a wonderful memorial day and if you chose to go to the park or spend it with family barbecuing or whatever the case may be i hope you had a wonderful day why is this light taking so long i feel like i'm rambling just because the light is red i don't know all right and if you're wondering why i'm going around these curbs slow it's because i have the camera there it is not attached and i don't want it to go flying y'all didn't ask but in case you were wondering I'm just rambling about nothing in particular. Wait a minute. The hole is open. I hope it opens at 9 and not 10. Because I don't want to sit out here for 40 minutes until it opens. Ooh, ooh, somebody walked out. Okay, it's open. All right, y'all. Let's go to Hobby Lobby. Let's go to Hobby Y'all, when I was here before at this particular Hobby Lobby, I got out my car and I swear I knew I seen a $100 bill like on the back of somebody's car, um, like on the windshield, you know, the wiper. And I looked and I almost went and grabbed it, but then something stopped me and I'm glad I did. But y'all ever heard of those things that they do to rob people? They usually put money like on the front of the car or make it look like it's money. Uh, I kept walking. I was like, um, I'm not the one, not today. Mm -mm. All right, let's go to Hobby Lobby. Let's see what I can find. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, let's go. See you guys, I love these, but where would I put them? I have no place to put these. Y'all, Ray Dunn at Hobby Lobby. Look at this. I am so excited. Not sure if I'm getting anything, but we'll see. All right, y'all, so I am on my way home now. I had to force myself to leave Hobby Lobby because y'all know I love that store and I had to be an adult and force myself to put things back. But the reason why I went is because today they're having a 50% off sale. So I got some light switch covers for my living room. And I did find some cute ones and I'm not gonna show you guys now because it's all part of the reveal, whatever, when I finally do my living room. And I'm looking for decorations for my living room and I even put a few things in the cart. And I'm like, why am I thinking about decorating it right now when it's not even painted? So I put it back and I'm like, it was things that I didn't even know if I wanted for sure anyway, but I don't know y'all, I have to make myself leave because I could be in there for hours just looking. And I actually should have went to the one a um, little bit further because it's a bigger selection. No one really goes to that one. Anyway, I'm on my way home now and that's it. It's 10 o'clock. And what time did I leave the house? I feel like I spent more time in Hobby Lobby than I did Winco. I probably did. Yeah. All right, let's go home. It's hot, y'all. It's already 72 and it's 10 o'clock. Okay, you guys it is one in the morning and I'm off work tomorrow I took um, tomorrow off and I know I didn't show you guys a whole lot about what we did today but we didn't do anything we just I barbecued here at the house and I could at least showed you guys the food but then we were watching stranger things so anyway I'm up priming the walls because I want to get it taken care of and I just have that part to do over there and then I'm gonna call it a night. And I know I have to go in at the top there. My tool or my instrument, whatever you wanna call it, that paints on the corners. I don't have a 
paint pad or whatever you want to call it to put on it so I couldn't do that today but I primed and good thing with primer you don't have to do two coats I'm not going to I mean of course I'm gonna do better over there because I didn't take my TV down it's too late to ask Tariq to help me you know I just wanted to get it done I could have waited until tomorrow when he is off work and home but I don't know I just felt like doing it so yeah that's what I'm doing now you guys and I'm just taking a little break because I am sweaty and tired my legs hurt from going up and down the ladder ladder right there and I'm gonna take care of that part and shut it down good morning everyone today is Tuesday I am off work today. Um, I took some time off because I was supposed to go out of town, but I ended up not going, but I still took the time off because I needed it mentally, and I'm glad I did. Still took the time off, but when I realized I wasn't going out of town, I almost withdrew my request, and I'm like, no, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not going anywhere. I don't plan on doing anything, but mentally, I needed it, so, Anyway, it's about 8.30, and I'm just now getting up. And it's funny because, and I think I've discussed this with you guys before, on my days off, I'll wake up early, I'll start cleaning the house and doing whatever, but if I had to go to work today, I would be so tired and let me get in my bed and I want to sleep, whatever. I think it's because on your days off, you can get up and do whatever you want. Yeah, and you guys see my voices really deep this morning um yeah i went to bed super late last night i actually probably still should be sleeping yeah i was up priming the walls in my living room oh you guys seen it i think i showed you guys that i want to show you guys something i don't know if it's going to work tiktok made me buy it so this is my shower and i wish it was see-through like it probably used to be a long time ago when the people first bought the house before I bought it but you see how it has the hard water stains on it so I seen this on TikTok barkeeper's friend and it seemed to have worked for her so I am going to try it of course it's not going to be perfect but I already took off that little paper underneath and it says to shake it up really good Okay, you guys, can you see the difference? It definitely did work, but I also took a razor, like a glass razor on the inside and I scraped it down after I did it. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing right now, but I just wanted to know if this works. Look at this, you guys. This is on the other side. This is from hard water. And yes, I do clean it off when I get out of the shower, but look, what a difference. I would say this is a good buy. So far, so good. So I'll check it out when this dries. I mean, I did wipe it down, but I want it to like completely dry. Okay, y'all, this is real life. Don't judge me. It's not always like this, but I grilled inside yesterday and a little bit outside, but I have to clean all this. This is my painting stuff that I'm going to put away. And I'm about to wash the dishes. It's actually not as bad as what I thought it was going to be. Yeah, because I wasn't really paying attention yesterday afterwards. And I just started painting. And you guys see that I primed the walls. So, yeah, let me get the dishes done. And get this kitchen cleaned up. Oh, I just wanted to show you everything, y'all. This is real life. Real life. Real life here. Alright, everybody. Check it out. Everything's nice and clean. Dishes are going in the dishwasher. Here are just the things that we don't put in the dishwasher. And everything is cleaned up. Nice and clean and I swept and I mopped. You know what I wish you guys? Other than having, I wish I had more counter space. I mean, I know I choose to decorate with, you know, my Ray Dunn stuff. And I'd rather have that then have a toaster i mean i do have a toaster but i'm one of those type of people that we put our toasters away every time after we use it because it's bulky my rice cooker and my air fryer we use it and i put it away not that it's ugly to have it out it's not it's just it's mainly because i don't have enough counter space 
and I don't want these bulky items out there. I have a friend, she has a huge kitchen, huge, and it's gorgeous, it's beautiful. She has her toaster and she has her rice cooker and she has her air fryer out on display and it's gorgeous. So if you have that out, I'm not talking about you, that's just me personally. I prefer to not have it out. But what was I saying? Oh, anyway, other than having more counter space, I wish I had a place for these. I can get a bread box, but once again, where would I put it? I don't have a whole lot of counter space. And all the cabinets hold dishes or that's food and that's seasoning and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just unsightly. I don't like having it there, but it's whatever. But anyway, the kitchen is clean, you guys. Nice and clean. And I put away my painting stuff.